Unchanging truth number four, God delivers his people. About 3,500 years ago, the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt. The people had become so populous over 400 years that the Egyptians were afraid of them. So they forced them to work under terrible conditions. And the people wondered, has God abandoned us? Has he forgotten his covenant promises to our fathers? Exodus chapter 2 is an amazing passage in the story of the Bible. It says in verse 23, the Israelites groaned because of their difficult labor and they cried out. And the cry for help because of the difficult labor ascended to God. And God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God saw the Israelites and God knew. Now God never forgets something as though he has to suddenly remember it. What this passage is telling us is that it was time for God to act. There are four verbs here that show that God is preparing to act on his promises. God heard their groaning. God remembered his covenant promises. God saw the Israelites in their suffering, and God knew. God delivers his people. Now, you and I are not living under Egyptian slavery today. What this passage tells us, though, is that, is that God sees the suffering of his people and he steps in at just the right moment to deliver us from that. This is a theme that's repeated throughout the Bible. Think about Noah and Lot and David and Joshua. All the times that God has delivered his people from evil and from their enemies. But the greatest example of deliverance doesn't come through a military battle. Doesn't come through a thunderous appearance of God from a towering mountain. The greatest deliverance comes through the humble sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Galatians chapter 1 verse 3 says, Grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from this present evil age. The gospel of Jesus, the good news, is that God saw us in our sin and our rebellion, and he chose to step in and act on our behalf. God sent his son into this world to be a human being, to bear the sins uh, that we have committed on his body on the cross so that we could be forgiven and have life with him eternally. God delivers us. Can God deliver us from a virus? Absolutely. Can God deliver us from poverty or hunger? Absolutely. But can God deliver us from the greatest evil, our own sin? Yes, he can, through Jesus on the cross. Will you choose to trust him today? Turn to Jesus, believe in him, repent of your sins, be immersed in water for the forgiveness of your sins, and God will deliver you. I have one more truth to share with you tomorrow, and I look forward to that. I'll see you next time.